The daisy flower mill may be more top of mind. The pine trees blocking its view are now cleared, but most of the work in this historic space is happening inside. It's one of the most iconic buildings we have in Rochester. Co-founder of Rising Storm Brewing Company, Bill Blake, who bought the space, says they are working on two main areas first, the tap room. New electrics going in, new lighting, uh, floors are going to be replaced in the next three weeks or so, and paint on the walls starts, I think, in two weeks. And the brew house in the old ballroom. We got new concrete floors in, new floor drains. Uh, we added a 400 square foot cooler on the back of that space. So uh, at that this point, that's really waiting on our new equipment to arrive. It's all coming together pretty quick. The dual kitchen will be getting some TLC and some upgrades too. They are targeting an opening date for Rising Storm at the mill by the end of April. But before then, Blake says the brewing machines should be up and running to increase their distribution capacity and to be ready for opening day. Keeping the building alive, keeping the history of it alive, a great place for people to come visit, try our beer. We do a lot of family fun days. We do an Easter egg hunt in the spring, a summer family fun day. We do in the fall pumpkin painting, stuff like that. We plan to continue all that stuff at this location. Of course, in addition to all that work inside, this 175-year-old building will also be getting a fresh coat of paint on the outside. Reporting in Penfield, Dan Gross, News 8. All right, Dan, nice work. Thank you. To get people familiar with the location, they are doing can sales every first and third Saturday of the month. And I went by there today. The trucks were there. They are busy. And that is a iconic piece of property right there. Great mm -hmm. history 